It was the late 1920s. The wounds from the First World War had healed, and young Waldo was at the height of his career. The time had come to start a family. His desire for an heir was almost as great as his imagination. He strongly believed that with love and optimism, everything would turn out well. But life taught him that love and optimism are empty notions in our turbulent and imperfect world. The truth is that in today's world, there are no happy endings. Instead, there are only nightmares. So young Waldo did what he knew best. He put his imagination to work creating a beautiful alter ego for his poor, unfortunate heir. Having already transformed his son, now it was time to transform the world. Everything started with the first part, Happy Land, which became a testing ground for what the entire world was to become. He spent years testing colors, emotions, attractions, he spent decades striving for perfection. Nonetheless, the years passed and optimism again turned to gloom. Waldo didn't know if he'd live to see his dream become reality. A new era, a perfect world. He had to wait for his park to become big enough and powerful enough. He had to wait for the world's morale to come crumbling down as countries again collapsed. Only then would a great futuristic company arise that could pick up the pieces and put them back together to complete his life's work. Because if there is one thing that old Waldo learned as he waited frozen all those years, it's that if the world doesn't want to be happy, someone has to force it to be happy.